What's up guys? This is Geeta Thakur. Today we are going to be doing class 10 science reflection. We are going to be continuing the chapter. In this video we are going to be introducing concave and convex mirrors. We are going to try to understand how they function, what the focus point is and before we get into that what we really need to do is get ourselves acquainted with some terminology. So let's get started for that. So I have parallel beams of light over here. As you can see, they get reflected and they are coming here. Again, here, here. The point at which they are getting, if that point right there is where all the light, all these parallel light rays are getting focused. You might just say that that is the focus of the concave lens. If I flip the lens around now, you will see that all the parallel beams, if I were to assume that these two rays are coming from somewhere, I'd have a point over here. As I keep moving my ray box, I see that the parallel beams appear to be originating from a point behind the mirror. This point is the focus of the convex mirror. Let's talk about what concave mirrors do. As you can see, all the light, if I had a lot of light like this, if I have a lot of light coming in, all the light seems to be meeting at a point right here. This is the focus. If I turn this around, I now have, I now have a convex mirror. And if I were to stand over here, all the light rays appear to be seeming from, to be coming from a point behind the mirror. This is the focal point of the convex mirror. So I have a spoon over here. This is both an example of a convex mirror and an example of a concave mirror over here. So when I look at this convex side of the spoon, what's happening is light rays from my face hit the spoon and then they get diverged. So light rays over here, it's going upward. The light that's coming from here is going downward. This gives me the illusion, since light is escaping out in this direction, this gives me the illusion that there must be something over here. And that you can see as your reflection. You can usually see your face in the spoon over there as a reflection. So I have a curved surface. It may be curved this way or this way. When I put these prickly lines on one side, the other side becomes a reflecting surface. When I put a ray of light this side, boom, it reflects back. A mirror that reflects the lights on its own sides, that focuses it, this mirror is known as a concave mirror. A mirror that diverges the light as it reflects it, it's known as a convex mirror. This curve is actually a part of a circle and when you draw the entire circle, the center of the circle is known as the center of curvature. The distance from the center to the lens is known as the radius of curvature. Half of this distance is where the focus point or the focal point of the lens is located. If it's a concave lens, it's located inside and if it's a convex lens, it's located outside of the lens. The line running through the center, the focal point and the center of the lens is known as the principal axis. The point where the principal axis meets the lens is known as the pole. There are four new terms that we've learned today. The center of curvature, the radius of curvature, the focal point of the lens, and the pole. We are going to be using this terminology in your textbook to understand the textbook and in the coming videos. Please make sure you familiarize yourself with it. So that's it. That sort of explains how convex and concave mirrors work, uh, how they focus uh, the light or how they diffuse the light away. Uh, this should help us understand the uses of and this in turn helps us understand where all they are used the convex and concave mirrors. I hope you enjoyed the session. If there are any questions, please put them in the comments below and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.